Hey guys, this is Angel Fur with The Impossible Channel. Imagine living on a building that floats around Earth and you have the same exact view as the ISS. Does that sound impossible? Not anymore, folks. The Jetsons just became real. Now anyway, this is being done by Cloud Architecture Office and the name of this fantastic tower is Nana Lima Tower. They're the first company to design such an out-of-the-box idea and I'm sure you'll be amazed of what their project holds for the future of architecture as well as humankind. But you'll be probably most amazed if we tell you how they're going to be doing this and probably why this is the craziest idea ever. Y'all some funny looking motherfuckers. <laughs> And if you guessed that it was by hanging the building from a meteorite, you were correct. <laughs> this is literally the most crazy, well, the craziest idea I've ever seen or heard about. They're gonna literally hang the building from an orbiting meteor that they're going to control. This orbit should look like an eight, so this is a picture of it. And of course, if you are a flat earther and if you believe that they might be actually trying to hang this from the dome, maybe you're quite right. Let me explain. Eminem might help us out from last year when he tweeted, until it falls down, have a happy holiday. And you can see from the image him cutting a tree with explosives all around, but you can clearly see that there's are, there are cracks in the dome. You see that? Is that a hint? A hidden message? Because we have a picture from an anonymous source last year, right, came in last year, from NASA and an astronaut fixing the space shuttle and you can see on his reflection there are cracks in what's supposed to be or what's supposed to, you know, look like a dome. Now, this is quite impossible, so let's go just, you know, just get back to the story here. So, the company states that they can control meteors and their orbit and this has actually become quite easy. So this is what they state about controlling meteors. Manipulating asteroids is no longer science fiction. Quoting recent European agreements on space rock mining and a NASA plan to recover an asteroid. From the rock, the company would extend cables that would support the top of the structure. Now that really sounds like a perfect idea. The period of displacement of the tower would be of 24 hours so that it happened in the same place every day, every time, at the same time. So the company has even come to define where the construction of the mega structure would be made and that would be Dubai. Uh, once finished, the structure would be transferred to its orbit. Now, of course, this seems such a perfect idea. Let's hang a building from a comet and it will go from New York to Peru. Maybe that'll work, right? That shit ain't funny, motherfucker! So this is going to be quite expensive, would you say? Uh, how much would be an apartment? You know, like I want to buy the second floor. How much would that be right so according to the company it would be the most expensive apartment one would buy ever you know so could you even imagine like let's just picture living on the top floor how much would that cost and the view you know the, the spectacular view you know this is gonna be crazy right so there are some implications I've been thinking about and they started making me wonder about things more and more like okay so, how many asteroids and comets and meteors do we have showering a day on Earth? So, I was reading around 18,000 to 84,000 small meteorites a year. So, that would make 230 small ones per day. So, that's quite impossible, right? So, I mean, how do you hang a building from space if we have so many meteors falling a day? Actually, this whole meteor thing made me thinking if the ISS and all those other satellites are real, 230 per day? Hmm. If we have around all that, wouldn't they kind of crash on these uh, satellites or building? Eventually crash. You know, like, just picture it. You're on the beach, you're on the mountains, and you look up to the sky, you see a bunch of stars, and then if you stay looking at it, you know, just for five minutes, you're gonna see a meteor, aren't you? Now just imagine you have a building up there, wouldn't it hit that building? Isn't that kind of dangerous? So now, I don't know, just another question. Being in outer space, would it be considered international territory? You know, like just 
pointing it out that it's going to be floating above the countries, right? The, the, the cities and all that. So would the people you know, that live on this building be able to parachute from this building to another city or state or country? You know, like uh, being world citizens, maybe new world order citizens. I don't know. Just, you know, gassing around. And if it flows from one place to another, would people need different passports? How would they, you know, how would this work out? You know, this is a really good question. Uh, if you have a different one, leave a comment. But I understand that the company says that people are going to be coming and going from these apartments uh, by using small drones. And indeed, this is one of the craziest things I've ever heard, and I believe this is going to be one of the craziest things I've ever heard till it's done, you know. No one's going to top this, this is for sure. And Ali Ben Towers, though, you got to give it to them, right? Living on the highest apartments would be like living on the ISS itself, although with all the comfort and an entire complex, like a city. Can you imagine that? Now, temperatures would drop to minus 40 degrees Celsius at the highest altitudes, and people would need to use special suits to go outside on the balcony. Yes, there is a balcony. Isn't that crazy? So let's just you know, head on with this is crazy. So my question to you is, is this being projected as, as some sort of end of the world, you know, building like an Elysium kind of thing or Wally? You know, when people just decided to trash the world and live on the upper atmosphere. Now, that does remind me of the Jetsons. So, something uh, eerie about this project, isn't it? Because this is going to be the first one, but might not be the last. And once this starts happening, folks, there are going to, you know, like be tens of thousands of these. Um, one of this company's motto is that man started out in caves, and we hope that in the future we can fly out of here with our homes to wherever we like so this is kind of crazy i like that motto but at the same time isn't that kind of selfish like destroying the whole universe because you want to get out of here get out of your cave you know and just show the universe that you know how to pollute a planet i don't know okay they're doing floating buildings because they want to avoid tsunamis and massive earthquakes and all that, you know, disasters. So, if you've been following our channel, you know about this massive object enclosing and inbound to already probably inside our orbit. We are back. Stargazing. It is a celestial rock awakening in space if you will uh dirk D oh, okay dirk what is it we're all like it's, it's a planet is is, is is the moon Actually, what is we've it? been searching trying to find you in the newsroom because we know you know dirk what is it well I, that's interesting i mean i've been I was <laughs> <laughs> maybe even messing with the moon's tilt and all that so this could be one of those buildings folks that they're they're doing because of that 10.0 earthquake that's coming you know everybody knows that there's probably a bigger never seen before earthquake that's going to happen soon enough because the temperature has been going up and we've been, we've been we've been seeing this anomaly in the sky just getting bigger and bigger right so what if analima towers is one of the solutions for this kind of problem that we are facing right now almost like a noah's ark but to be honest just for the elite uh, you know, just making it quite honest here, you know they're not going to use underground bunkers because, after all, uh, these earthquakes are going to shatter the bunkers. I don't know, so this is going to be really ugly. These earthquakes are going to shatter these bunkers and they're not going to be anyone alive inside of them. So this is what I've been thinking. Are they building you know, these mega structures just to get out of here while all of this happens? They kind of reset the planet and then they just come back like a Noah's Ark, you know, literally like a Noah's Ark. This is kind of wild. A lot to think after one releases an article like this, you know, like, okay, folks, we're going to do one of these things. What do you think about it? You know, like, first of all, the meteor idea is so way off. And I don't know what about you, but I think this is so crazy that um, it deserved a spot on our channel. So don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment. And I'll see you again.